is Fubo TV stock a buy, sell, or a hold? I'm going to answer that question in this video looking at the company's revenue, profit margin, cash flow, and valuation. So let's jump right in, starting with revenue. And Fubo TV revenue growth has been excellent for this company, which grew from around 200 million in trailing 12 month revenue all the way up to 1.182 billion in trailing 12 month revenue. Now, Fubo TV is a sports centric alternative to cable television. And recently, the dispute between Disney and Comcast allowed Fubo TV perhaps to capture some customers that wanted to watch sports during that dispute. Now, over the longer term, more people are canceling their cable subscription and moving to streaming instead. That's understandable. Streaming is just so much more convenient. You can watch it wherever you are, where you get an internet connection versus with cable, where you can only watch it when you're at home or when you're in the office or anywhere, but you need to be connected to a cable through a physical wire. And so longer term, the industry is going to capture growth and Fubo TV will be one of the companies that will benefit from that. But it's not the only company offering a streaming alternative to cable TV. Disney's Hulu Live TV offers the same service and Google's YouTube Live TV offers something similar as well. So it's got competitors, but you can see growth is coming nicely for Fubo TV. However, that growth has come with massive losses on the bottom line. Thankfully, Fubo TV is making progress on profitability, negative 26% operating profit margin, but that's much better than the negative 160% it was receiving around January of 2021. More recently, Fubo has focused more on profitability. It divested its ambitions to launch a mobile sports book it also increased prices on its service and reduced the amount of content it offers, all of which are helping improve profitability for Fubo TV. And for now, it's only resulting in modest subscriber growth deceleration. So for now, those moves are working well for Fubo TV. The next thing I wanted to look at is cash flow from operations. And you can see a turnaround here for Fubo TV's cash flow from operations in the trailing 12 months. This was moving in the wrong direction up until late 2022, when all those moves from Fubo TV started to pay dividends. And now its losses are improving negative 249 million in the most recent trailing 12 month period. So with all these losses on the bottom line and cash outflows, I wanted to look at how the company is funding these losses because that money that it's losing has to be coming from somewhere. And that's coming through a combination of long-term debt and shareholder dilution. Fubo TV's long-term debt increased from relatively small levels of around 20 million all the way up to about 400 million in the most recent period. Also, Fubo TV has been selling a lot of stock to raise cash shareholder dilution increasing from around 440 million shares outstanding all the way up to 291 million shares outstanding. This is important because if or when the company turns profitable, those profits are going to be split among more shares and earnings per share will be lower because now there are more shares outstanding. Finally, I wanted to look at the company's valuation and Fubo TV is trading at a forward price to sales of 0.46. That's down from its high close to two, but up from lows where it was trading at forward price to sales around 0.2. So overall, if I had to say if the stock is a buy, sell or a hold, I will say the stock is a hold. It's got something working in its favor in that industry trends are working to attract more customers. However, Fubo TV is finding it difficult to operate profitably. So I would say wait for the company to show more progress in demonstrating profitability before I can rate the stock as a buy. So for now, I would say Fubo TV stock is a hold.
I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.